Hi, I'm Jasmine Reese, and I've been a nurse since 2010, and I've had the privilege of working in some amazing areas, both at the bedside and away from the bedside. I've worked in the emergency department, in the intensive care unit. I've worked for a health insurance agency, a medical device company, and now I work in business and supply chain. Throughout my career, I've seen even in the best circumstances that accidents and mistakes can happen. And I've seen how those accidents and mistakes can impact a nurse, a patient, and a patient's family member. I've also seen how legal actions taken against nurses can affect them both professionally and personally. And you and I both have worked really hard for our nursing degrees and our nursing license, so we want to do everything we can to protect it. So I'm here to provide you information about nursing, professional liability insurance, and why it's so important for nurses and nursing students to have. Malpractice or professional liability insurance protects nurses if they're sued by a state board of nursing, a patient, or a patient's family member. Even if nurses perform within their scope of practice, they can still be sued in criminal, civil, or regulatory cases. Nurses can be sued in any professional setting, including the hospital, home health agencies, nursing homes, or health clinics. Nurses have the option of protecting their professional standing by having professional liability insurance. Insurance companies then have the obligation to provide legal services and an attorney in the event a nurse is sued. According to the Nurses Service Organization or the NSO, nurses are 47 more times likely to be involved in adverse licensing actions compared to medical malpractice payments that were made in 2020. The categories with the most allegations where claims were filed included professional conduct, scope of practice, and documentation errors, which collectively resulted in about 67% of the claims filed. Professional conduct allegations can be related to substance abuse, drug diversion, and even wastage errors. Documentation claims can be related to fraudulent or missing documentation, and scope of practice claims can involve negligence or claims that a nurse practice outside of the professional scope of nursing practice. The NSO also notes that about 55% of licensed board matters led to action against a nurse's license. And in addition, the average cost of defending a nurse's license is around $5,330. Now, I don't know about you, but $5,330 is a lot of money that I would rather keep in my pocket instead of using it to defend myself against a lawsuit. Insurance can provide legal protection for a nurse in the event that litigation is taken against them. For example, if a nurse is sued, having professional liability insurance can provide coverage for um, time off work related to the trial. It can help pay out some of the settlement award, and it can also provide payments for the defense costs that the nurse will need. Also, keep in mind that there are certain statutes of limitations which basically means this is the maximum amount of time from an injury that a person can sue. These statutes of limitations vary by the offense and they can vary by state. And remember, it's not uncommon for a nurse to provide care to a patient and then be called into court several years later in a lawsuit where he or she has to defend their nursing license. Okay, so now that you're familiar with professional liability insurance and how it's beneficial to nurses, let's take a deeper dive into why nurses need this insurance and how it can protect their license. Head over to the next lesson and I'll see you there.